Hello and welcome to another Zillions of Enemy X unboxing. Today with the newest release E48. And yeah, it's a beautiful artwork on the front of the box. And it's uh, yeah some kind of bikini or swimsuit set. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped for for this release. I I was hoping for a reprint. Ah, missed. I forgot to put it into the the edit. I have to edit it afterwards. I I was hoping for a reprint of uh, Egyptian goddess art that was printed in B thirty five, so quite some time ago. But yeah, it's very hard to find, and it from the artwork it would have fit very well into this set because it's also like in a in a bikini, and it's yeah very hard to find this card. Most of uh, like the stores that I usually check for it. Uh, are sold out. It's the the goddess of Tefnet, and yeah, unfortunately, it was not reprinted in this set. I already took a look into the card gallery. And my face is like super bright. Hey ho! Oh, this should be better. So, but anyway, there are like quite some some nice artwork in this set. What what a cute turtle and some some fish. And we've got an N, but yeah, they again they change so much about the rarities and the foil treatments. Like this is N rarity, but it's holographic. It has this code foil effect, like the LR rarity before. If you have watched my older unboxings of ZX, but now it's also the gold stamped lettering and the frame, the border. So basically, from the on the foil, foil treatment, it's a double rare <laughs> in some kind. Uh, back in the days, like a few sets ago, the double rare was a once per box hit, so it was kind of rare, and you you were or you, you didn't have a lot of cards with this foil treatment in your collection. Now it's like we get it all the time or like more often, and this is a super rare. This should be more rare than the the end foil i think is there like some overview of the rarities there is so yeah you can also get the super rares in a foil version this is the the cold foil but yeah recently they they introduced the ssr rarity also and you can i think the ssr rarity is also in two versions or was it that the the SSR? Oh, uh, the SSR is also as a secret rare. Man, it got so confused <laughs> with all the recent changes in in rarity distribution. The one thing I know uh, is that oh, she looks nice. We yeah, we have pulled her regular version. So what they do is they put the name of the card to the side. Sweet. It's a bit dark, this foiling, but it's not looking bad. Not too dark, like in in the other TCG in Grand Archive. I opened the latest set and the foiling was so dark. Oh, and I guess we get, yeah, uh, these are like called hot packs. They are not god packs because they are not like super duper special, but they are special. Uh, I actually don't know if they were one or two per case. I think I saw on Twitter someone sharing the pull ratio. I think it was two, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's one hot pack with uh, just SR and one with... Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Uh, she's my, my favorite. Besides the Egyptian theme characters... Uh, Yukata and Frederica are my favorites. And this is also like the super rare special treatment. Oh, and this, I know that this SSR is pricey. I guess she is like uh, playable. Or maybe it's because of her, of the three big balls on this card. She, she could like, she looks very similar to the Egyptian themed goddesses too. 
yes, horns, but the Egyptian goddesses and Zedeks, they have uh, animal ears, like like cat ears, usually. But I, I don't remember. Was it one per case or two? I don't know, maybe we will get another SSR hit in this one. But yeah, in general, I, I, I saw that there is like no Egyptian goddess in this set at all. So not the reprinted card I was hoping for, and that I hopefully have added in the beginning of the video if I didn't forget it. But uh, yeah, not even like in the lower rarities. Which is a bit sad, man. They are so, I mean, like this one, this is old from set E27. I mean, they fit into the theme of the set. And I know that some people like play a deck you know, with these characters. So, and with some special foil treatment, it would have fitted so nice into this set. But yeah, besides that, there's like no. I think this is like the best uh, Yutaka or Frederica card you can get from this set. There's not a not a secret or SSR. There are only two SSRs. Uh, this is another super rare regular cold foil. And I want to wear my sleeves. Sorry, I'm just a little bit dis uh, not very organized, and I just. Came home from work. I was expecting to get the, the boxes tomorrow, but for some reason, like the post service was like, he he needs his cards, and they were right. I need them, but yeah, they were super fast. Oh yeah, I shared this on Instagram. This artwork is so cute. She's like a bunny girl, and there are a lot of bunnies around her. I think this is available in a foil version too. Another rare uh, with the gold stamp treatment. Oh, I don't know her name. And I can't read this so well. Uh, I don't know. But I think that she's like one of the more famous characters in Zillions of Animex. If I remember right, there was also like a figure of her. Oh, this is a cute one. You can get this in foil and then it looks even better with the uh, peacock, is it, I guess? Uh, okay, not a swimsuit card. It's not a completely swimsuit set, but yeah. We got the hot pack. But besides the hot pack, not like a big hit. Uh, maybe some last pack magic. Oh yeah, these wild boars are so cute. And a SR. So, uh, luckily I have a second box and because, yeah, this is a nice set with a swimsuit seam and usually I only open one box, but today I'm like in the mood to, to open the second one. Uh, for my last, or last, for my next live stream in September, uh, I have some ZX to open already. But uh, main focus will be on V Cross because of the V Cross release uh, on September uh, 13 or 14. I think 13. Okay. We have another hot pack. Is there like a hot pack now every time? Okay, maybe the, the hot packs are guaranteed. Maybe there are always the hot packs. Okay, we get, at least we don't get a duplicate. We get the cover girl. The SSR. First pack. So yeah, I wonder if the the hot pack has the chance to contain a secret. Because the SSRs they they have this gold stamp or like this gold border effect and the but from the foil treatment, they are basically the WR rarity back in the days. So it's not so super special. This is cute. The tiger. Uh, so yeah, they, they don't have texture. They're not like, yeah. 
<sighs> I'm I'm missing the old times where we were like getting the MGNR route to the Mugen rare, but they recently got rid of the Mugen rare. <laughs> oh, these these sheep are living their best lives. Or is it not a sheep? It's a ram. Guess. Oh yeah, nice. I was talking about uh, this in the first box that I would like to get it in foil. So here we are. I guess at least for this release, the the lower rarities with the foil gold uh, treatment, they yeah gives it a little bit more value compared to regular releases. But I'm still missing textured cards. Like overall box experience, I would say I enjoy V Cross a little bit more. Uh, with the exception that the high rarities in Zillions of Enemy X are my favorite, like uh, the Mugen or Secret Rare or the EGR rarities, all the, the textured hits, they are by, by far my, my favorite ones. I like them even more than the high rarities in, in V Cross, and they are like a lot more common. Like, I, I never pulled the triple, what was it, the question mark rarity, the sleeping Elrix in V Cross. Uh, I hope one day I will be able to, because I really want to, ooh, I really want to know how the, the treatment of the texture on this and everything. We pulled a secret. Okay. Yeah. So you can pull. You can pull a secret and uh, find it Nemo. Uh, what was it like? Uh, Nemo? Find, find Nemo in English? I don't know. It's not Nemo, I know it, but uh, yeah. That's a nice looking. She has like a tail, looks like. But now you see what I mean about texturing. There's so much going on. I love it. Yep. There are some parts, there are bubbles, and then there is a different kind of boiling and uh, effect. This is so beautiful. This alone for me is the reason to to open so much billions of animex. In the lower rarities, they have yeah, a lot of weird characters sometimes. They have some kind of Gundam, like these robots and dragons and yeah, some weird characters. But the high rarities, they, they are the best on the market. Maybe they decided to get rid of the Mugen rare, so they yeah, got cheaper in production. I don't know. Still, sometimes I get lucky. I think also like the these sets, the extra booster packs, they are more pricey, but of course they have better pull rates, or at least my luck with them is better. And yeah, this was two boxes of the new swimsuit set. Let me know what you you think of these. I I think they are very nice. Uh, don't know if it's guaranteed to get these hot packs with the three super rare special treatment. Super happy with my pulls, like the secret rare. And of course the super rare of Federica and Yutaka. Very nice pulls. And yeah, for more unboxings, please check out my channel and see you in my next unboxing. Bye.